So in this equation, we want to um, complete the square so that we can get the equation of a circle. But before we start, we see that um, our x squared and y squared terms have a coefficient of a 2. We want to divide everything by 2 before we start. So divide every term in the problem by 2. We have x squared plus y squared plus x minus 3 equals minus, uh, that's going to be 3y 45 over 2. Okay, so the first thing, divide everything by 2. And so now we want to group our x terms and group our y terms. So if I have x squared plus x plus, and then my y terms, I have y squared minus 3y, and then I have 45 over 2 over here. All right, to complete the square with the x terms, we come up here, and we say we take your b term, divide by 2, and square it. Your b, in this case, is a known 1, so you would get 1 half squared, which is 1 fourth. So if you get 1 fourth there, we'll come put 1 fourth over here. And we're going to complete the square with the y terms, so I'm looking for what goes here. We take our um, b term, which in this case b is negative 3 divide by 2 and square it. So you're going to get 9 fourths. So if you add 9 fourths there, you will get 9 fourths over here as well. Now we can factor using bottoms up, or we can use our shortcut, which is variable of the first, sine of the second term, square root of the c term, square root of 1 fourth is one half squared. We do the same things with our y terms. You take variable of the first, sine of the second, square root of the last term, put in parentheses and square it, and then we're going to add 45 halves plus 1 fourth plus 9 fourths, and we get the whole number 25. Well, at this point, we can name our center. Our center is going to be the ordered pair, negative 1 half, positive 3 halves. And our radius is the square root of 25, which is 5. Okay, let's clear this. Um... Next thing we're going to do is to graph the equation x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 2y plus 12 equals 0. And we want to know if it's a point or non-existent. So first thing we're going to do is get this thing and uh, use the complete the square method to get this in our form of a circle that we're wanting. So we have x squared minus 6x, group your x terms. Group your y terms. And let's move 12 to the other side so that we have the constant term over here. So when you move this positive 12 to the other side, you're going to have a negative 12. Now let's complete the square. Um, you take your b term, which is negative 6, divide by 2 and square it. Um, that's going to be negative 3 squared, which is 9. So if I get 9, 9, let's complete. So our b term and the y, so our 2, divide by 2 and square it. So I have a 1 plus a 1. So we, we now factor this out, and we would get... Variable of the first, sine of the second, square root of the third term. Start over, we take variable of the first, sine of the second, square root of the, square root of one is one. Put in parentheses and square it. Negative 12 
plus 9 plus 1 is negative 2. Now once this thing is in our center radius form, we can look at our center and it's the order pair 3, negative 1, but we notice that this value to the right is a negative. And because this value to the right is negative, it is non-existent. If it was positive, like the previous one, like 25, your radius is the square root of that. If it's zero, the point would be the ordered pair 3, negative 1. But since this value over here is negative, we get non-existent. Okay, this next one it says, use the points 3, 3, oh well, this graph's not, didn't do very well, but let's do the best we can to use it. So the order pair, um, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, let's say we're right here, the order pair 1, 1, the order pair 5, 1, and the ordered pair 3, negative 1. Okay, so here's the circle that we're looking at. It says use of the circle to determine the equation of the circle in center radius form and general form. Okay, but first of all, we need to do center radius. My center is going to be in the middle of these two, which in this particular case, it's easy to see that they're two units in every direction. So my center is just going to be, um, this was the order pair 1-1, one, one. let me label them real quick, this was 3-3, um, three, three. this was 5-1, and this was 3-1. You can see that your center is going to be the order pair 3-1. Okay, so my center is 3-1, I'll make a note over here. My center is the order pair 3, 1. And my radius is obviously 2 because I went 2 units in every direction. So if I started here, I went 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So it's easy to see that my radius was 2 units. However, if I did not know that and I only had the values, I can use my midpoint formula to calculate my center, I can use these two points right here and find the middle of that to get my center. And I can also use um, my distance formula, which you learned in a previous chapter, to calculate the radius by doing the distance from here to here using those two points. Or I could even do the diameter of this point and this point and divide by 2. There's lots of options for that. But in this particular case, we can see from graphically, um, the graphical representation of it, and calculate the center and the radius. So it's going to be x oh, minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to the radius squared. So when I plug that in, I'm going to get x minus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 4. That is going to be my center radius form. Okay, and now it says general form, so what we want to do is multiply this thing out. So I'm going to move this, and I'm going to use this as my scratch work. If I did x minus 3 squared, it means x minus 3 times x minus 3, and we foil this thing out. So we get minus 3x, minus 3x, negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9. Add like terms right there, and we would get x squared minus 6x plus 9 and then I would have y minus 1 times y minus 1 
foil this out, I would get y squared minus 1y minus 1y plus 1. Add like terms, which then I come and plug that back in over here, and I would get y squared minus 2y. plus 1 equals 4 and now we want to just put this in general form so we have x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 2y plus I have 9 plus 1 right there is 10 and then when I move this 4 over to the other side it becomes a negative 4 so I would then just have plus 6 equals 0 and this is general form okay once again this 6 came because I said 9 plus 1 is 10 and then when I move that 4 over there it would be 10 minus 4 which would be 6